Hello and welcome back to Redirecting. There is yet another update in the case of a Tatiana Jefferson. In this particular video that I'm going to show you, they're telling us that the officer has been identified in the killing of this young woman and that he has resigned. I'm going to go ahead and roll the video clip and I will be right back. Well, the last thing she saw was the bright glare of a flashlight and the flash from an officer's gun. He shot Tatiana Jefferson through a window at her home. And now police officials say he's turned in his badge and resigned. But Chris Lawrence is he has the night off. The police chief says that officer would have been fired if he didn't quit first. Here's Alex Rozier. Early Saturday morning, former officer Aaron Dean was outside of Tatiana Jefferson's home responding to a non-emergency call when he saw her in the window, fired one shot, Put your hands up, show me your hands, your hands. and killed her as she played video games with her eight-year-old nephew. Her father called this shooting senseless, and I certainly have not been able to make sense of why she had to lose her life. Fort Worth Chief Ed Krause said he planned to fire the officer this morning. Had the officer not resigned, I would have fired him for violations of several policies, including our use of force policy, our de-escalation policy, and unprofessional conduct. The department says they'll provide a substantial update on the criminal investigation no later than tomorrow. So far, the officer is not cooperating. So he hasn't taken any questions from you as of this moment? That is correct. Fort Worth Mayor Betsy Price also spoke today. As a mother, a grandmother, a sister, an aunt, I can't imagine anything worse. Price pointed out that the police should not have released an image of a gun inside Jefferson's home. No one has said if that gun ever posed a threat to the officer. The gun is irrelevant. She was in her own home caring for an eight-year-old nephew. I was very upset. I was frustrated, angry. Bob Ray Sanders chaired Fort Worth's task force on race and culture. He learned of the city's plans to bring in experts to review the department from top to bottom. Right now, he worries about their interactions with the African-American community. When it comes to the African-American community, they have a different mindset. When they walk in, they walk in afraid. They walk in apprehensive. They walk in ready to shoot. On Saturday morning, a Tatiana Jefferson was on the devastating end of a deadly shot. And everyone agrees that officer should not have pulled the trigger. On behalf of the entire city of Fort Worth, I'm sorry. In Fort Worth, I'm Alex Rozier. And for the first time today, we heard from a Tatiana's family. They called her Tay. And her brother and sisters described her as a model sibling, neighbor, and daughter. Amber Carr says her eight-year-old son is sad and confused. One second he was playing video games with his Aunt Tay. The next, she was on the floor bleeding. The first thing he told me was he was sad. And I asked him, why was he sad? And he told me because the police had killed his, had shot his aunt. And at that time, I knew nothing about that. So he was the one who actually told me what had what happened. The family is demanding that an outside agency take over this case to investigate what happened. Okay, as you saw from the clip, the officer has resigned, and the chief actually said that if he hadn't resigned, they were going to fire him. But it would be great in this case if he can do some time, just like uh, Amber Geiger, because he killed this young woman. And just like so many keep saying, they said, if you are this afraid as an officer, to where you're just taking people out this quick with no questions asked. Less than a second before giving a command, she's, you, you shot her. If you're that afraid, you do not belong on the streets as an officer, especially on a wellness call. This was not a call for a break-in or anything like that. It was a wellness check. And your fear got the best of you. You took this woman's life in cold blood. And just like one of the ministers in a previous video said, he says, OK, we've gotten to the point now where we can't get justice from you all. He says, we have no recourse but to call on the name of the Most High to deliver us from the hands of these people. That is what a Christian minister said. 
that our only recourse is to call upon the name of the Most High to deliver us from the wickedness that we see among the Gentiles in our lands of captivity. Very powerful statement by that minister because that is what we're supposed to be doing anyway. We're supposed to be calling on the Most High. And if his children everywhere begin to call, and for those of you who call yourselves Hebrew Israelites, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You are not his only children. Just because you know who you are don't put you in a better position, especially when you're breaking all kinds of laws, statutes, and commandments. That's why the Most High said in his word, he said, you make your boast of the law, boasting that you keep the law, but you break the law and blaspheme and cause my name to be blasphemed among the Gentiles. So I'm putting that little rebuke in there for those of you who want to say that the Most High is not going to hear these Christian um, Israelites. You're sadly mistaken because the Most High will hear his children if they call upon him. He says, whosoever shall call on the name of Yah shall be saved. And as we spoke before, he knows that we are calling him the wrong name in some cases. This is why he said, no longer will my children call me by the names of Baal. Notice he said, call me. He knows that they're calling him. Yah is no fool. He knows who they're calling. And he says, at the time of their ignorance, I winked at it. And this is why you have many Christians who are operating in some spiritual gifts. Laying hands on people, people getting healed, casting out devils. I don't see that too much, though, among Hebrew Israelites. But what I do see is a lot of devilish activity. So take it for what it is. It is what it is, family. These people are saying, these Christians, these black Christians are saying that we need to call on our father to come and deliver us out of the hands of these people. And it's time for us all to join in. Stop all this fighting because Hebrew Israelite has become a religion as well. I'm not talking about who we are. I'm not talking about who our father is. But many of you have turned this into a, a religion worse than Christianity. And you know what I'm talking about when I say that. If, you, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, if you're just upset at hearing me say that, go take a look at Tarnished Awakening. It's time for us to stop the fighting and the bickering and understand who our enemies are. Even those among us, even those among us, the Most High is going to purge out the rebels because judgment begins with the house of Yah. But once he does that, he's judging his children. Guess what? He's going to begin to judge these other nations, especially if we call on our father and say, look, come and see about us. Just like that Christian minister said, he said, come and see about us. Okay, family, I can say so much more on this. And I think, um, at some point I will, the statement about come and see about us, because that is what we need to be saying right now. We need to be crying out to our Father. Our solution is to cry out to our Father and to repent and to turn from our wicked ways. With that, family, I will say shalom. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.